Today we're going to cover how Raven territories work. This information is based on observing Terry and Teresa, a mated pair of ravens who live in Southern California in the Verdugo Mountains, who currently maintain this territory and are surrounded by other mated raven pairs who occupy their own territories. It all starts out with juvenile ravens who spend three or four years together in large groups where they select a mate and go off to claim a territory of their own. Once they acquire this territory, they fly around the perimeter together to display their borders to neighboring mated pairs. When this territory is established, nearby mated pairs will not land in their territory. They're allowed to fly overhead, but not allowed to touch down. They will, however, fly along an adjoining border with neighboring mated pairs in what seems to be a display of friendship or camaraderie. What's even more interesting is these mated pairs will help other couples defend their territory against intruders. For this example, we see Terry and Teresa communicating with another mated pair off screen to the right. Next, they scramble to help their neighbors defend their territory from an intruder, which in this case is a turkey vulture. The only disputes that I've witnessed happen along territory borders where males will occasionally challenge each other in an attempt to intimidate their opponent. This behavior is slightly mysterious since the loser doesn't give up his territory. I have another video on this channel dedicated to this subject, and I'll leave a link in the description. The one last piece of the puzzle that changes this territory dynamic is when a couple has chicks. The parents become extra aggressive against potential predators like red-tailed hawks and coyotes. During the summer months, mated pairs will meet up where several territories border one another to allow their babies to play with each other. This encourages them to join up with other juveniles when they finally leave their parents at the end of summer. Baby ravens are allowed to stay in their parents' territory for several months or so, and are even allowed to bring juvenile friends into their territory for a short window of time. At the end of that seven months, however, mated pairs aggressively chase their own young out of their territory as they prepare for another birthing season. This might seem a little harsh, but if they allowed their young to stay, they and their juvenile friends could become aggressive and challenge their own parents for their territory. Chasing them out as soon as possible is imperative. If you found this video informative, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more wildlife content coming your way.